I'm Marco Petita and uh, I'm a geologist. I study geology and uh, I'm interested in hydrogeology. So groundwater is my field of expertise. My name is Elisabetta Preziosi and uh, I have a degree in geology and a PhD in hydrogeology. I'm uh, Klaus Hinsby. I'm a hydrogeologist from the Geological Survey of uh, Denmark and Greenland. I'm Theodor Research. I'm a qualified uh, geologist with a PhD in hydrogeology. My main expertise is in groundwater management, hydrogeochemistry and cross-border water related issues. My name is Heidi Barnabal and uh, I'm a civil engineer and I have my masters in groundwater hydrology. I also have my PhD in groundwater hydrology, and that is from the Technical University of Denmark. I'm a researcher and I uh, coordinate a group of um, people uh, dealing with uh, mainly now um, our main research line concerns uh, the natural background level assessment. Um, we are four, five, six people, including a couple of uh, PhD students from the University of Rome. Um, uh, what we perform is the assessment of the uh, natural background level in um, groundwater bodies in central Italy uh, related to specific projects or specific uh, problems or issues like uh, uh, the position of a landfill which could be uh, the um, uh, triggering the pollution of the groundwater. waters. So the natural background level is something that helps you to decide whether the uh, um, activity is providing pollution to the groundwater. A typical, typical day could be sitting at a con computer most of the day and writing emails to colleagues all over the world and discussing things, uh, trying to get new projects together with them or uh, preparing a conference somewhere in, in the world. Another typical day would be to go into the field to try and collect water samples uh, and either measure, measure the quality in the field or taking them back to the laboratory to, to me measure them. Since I'm head of the department that in Denmark at the Geological Survey means that I'm responsible of the research in the department of the staff and that is about 20 to 25 people and I'm also responsible of the finances in the department. The field activity um, include uh, direct measurement into the rivers for example or uh, along the uh, hills and uh, along the mountains you have to fix uh, and to identify different rocks and at the same time, what type of rock can uh, give you some uh, groundwater to be exploited and used for different purposes. Someone, in other cases, we are investigating the water which uh, we found on the surface and uh, which are menaced by pollution uh, due to human activities. I always liked math and physics, so that's why I decided to become an engineer. I have always been interested also in being able to work in different countries because I'm from a small country and engineers can usually work everywhere. And the first time I heard about groundwater hydrology that was at the university. And because you can use a lot of math or you should use a lot of math and physics when you work with groundwater hydrology, that really caught my interest. and. Uh, and still I think that groundwater is very important all over the world. So that is something I decided was very important to work with. It's actually a nice uh, story because when uh, I was uh, 19 years old, I think I, I took uh, a walk uh, or a hike in a, in a na nature park together with my girlfriend. And uh, while we were hiking in, 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 uh, in the park, uh, suddenly there was a cloudburst and the water was pouring down and uh, we didn't have actually raincoats and stuff like that but we stayed out and we were watching the water collecting in small streams and then in bigger streams and we followed the water flowing down uh, the hill and at, at one point actually the water went into the to the ground and I was looking at it and wondering and I, I thought well 
I have to study something on, on water. I have to study water. I have to know more about the Earth and how the planet uh, is working. So that was actually the first, uh, my first idea of uh, inspiration to start studying hydrogeology. What I enjoy the most is when we reach some new results in, that could, be, could provide contribution to the scientific communities. If I'm lucky, we will be planning some water or something. And, uh, that's what I enjoy a lot. Getting out from the office, getting into the nature, solving practical issues. Sometimes I have the chance to to be part of a team which uh, takes samples not just in Hungary but also in the neighboring countries. And uh, in the, these cases, we deal with uh, water issues which are related not just to Hungarian uh, groundwater management but also to cross border questions. To the students uh, which are fascinated by geologists, uh, my suggestion is uh, follow your dream. So there is a possibility to concretize your dream and your uh, expectation, uh, mixing the natural uh, environment, so the, the observation of the nature, and uh, uh, including a quantification of the process and the phenomenon by the physical and mathematical sciences. This is my advice. Uh, join both the natural and the physical science in a, a, a good geological model. Uh, studying geology, uh, at least as it was my experience, is, is a very exciting experience. I mean, I, I would strongly suggest to do that. Uh, I also would like to suggest that uh, to be updated, uh, uh, our task is to combine the observation of the dynamics of the territory, which is the geological point of view, the evolution, the, the observation of the territory, understanding the dynamics and the evolution of the territory at different time scales, so from the as quick as a landslide and as slow as the mountain range formation. Uh, we, this must be combined with uh, uh, mathematical modeling and data handling, so the, the naturalistic approach and the more mathematical. I love being a hydrogeologist. Hydrogeology is water, is important for uh, all life on Earth. It's the most Im important, to my opinion, <laughs> um, resource that we have and we have to protect it. And, and we are an increasing number of people living on the Earth. So what I'm doing is trying to protect the water resources uh, of the Earth. Typically, below uh, the ground, uh, there is uh, groundwater.